Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm Armin and you're watching Monomoto. Today we're gonna have a super quick do-it-yourself installation video. We're gonna put this AIM Solo 2 onto this BMW S1000 RR. This is a 2020 model, but the adapter that we're gonna use today is the same for all S1000 RR since the model year 12, 2012 that is, I think. Um, what you need to do is to follow this order this installation bracket that comes from AIM, the company that makes the GPS lap timer. I will put a link in the description for this little bracket below. Also, we're gonna use this standard mounting bracket that is part of the AIM Solo 2. I was first a little bit weirded out why this part uh, would be used, but it's actually a pretty cool surprise um, because there are some magnets and it makes it worth this little bit extra weight. So I was hoping that AIM would have something lighter for especially motorcyclists, while right? we have this base plate. And then it needs an adapter, which is out of aluminum, it's pretty uh, light, and the pretty hefty solar unit. So it's quite some weight that you put onto your bike. Of course, yeah, it's not the end of the world, but right, the lighter the better. So you have these plates, but it actually gives you some, some flexibility and some ease of use. So therefore, that's maybe a pretty good solution. All right, enough talking. Let's set up the camera and I will show you how I install it on this S1000 RR. You are sitting on the tank of my bike and this is the steering stem uh, where we're gonna put uh, our mount in. Uh, if you have already something attached here, this is the slot that we would need to uh, mount this. There are different mounting solutions available, but today we're gonna talk about this. So this is the adapter. I think this is an like, aluminum plate, it's pretty uh, light. And we have like this rubber piece which perfectly fits in there and then you can right like move this around so everything looks good and once everything is the way you want it you can mount this plate on there something like this and then the aim unit would get on top of that one thing of course right like with this uh, installed we're gonna use some loctite and make sure this is safe for your racers, right, maybe put a safety wire on this uh, on top of that to make it extra secure. But we will use Loctite to make sure everything stays in place. So the one cool thing about this plate is, here on the Solo 2 unit, these are actually magnets. And when you align this bracket, snaps in from the force of the magnets. And you have options, you have here four little screws and you have these cool thumb, <laughs> it's just attaching, these cool thumb screws. So you can simply put this on and then you press this in like so, press this one in. And now we have those two fastened and right by just unscrewing them like so. See they pop out. So you can easily remove this plate again. Well, easily magnets by itself are pretty strong and you need to pull in the right angle. Wow. Okay. All right, there we go. And it comes apart. So the magnets are almost strong enough right, to use it by itself, but for safety, definitely screw this always in. So that means this unit still stays uh, relatively easily removable thanks to the thumb screws. So pretty nifty, the plate is a little bit heavy. This one feels like it's out of metal. This one feels like it's out of aluminum. So we're gonna put these guys together, make sure everything clears, right, that we don't hit anything and that we can still see the display well. So let's put it together into place and then lock everything down. All right, first thing, let's mount this plate onto the other plate, plate to plate. All we need is the screws that came in the set and we're gonna use blue Loctite and a little Phillips. All right, putting some Loctite on it as this is blue and we're not gonna remove this often. Just use a good amount. And now as this is not magnetic, let's not drop anything. Gonna just position this one. And get a second one. All right, just took it off to tighten it down. So now this 
plate is flush and nothing shakes around. So we have this now protruding a little bit. That's okay, but just make sure it doesn't hit anything. Uh, the set also comes with two little nuts, but it's definitely not protruding long enough for the nuts. You could also, of course, remove these and cut it off a little bit uh, to make it even nicer finish. But here was our setup. It shouldn't really get in the way. I didn't make sure, of course, later on uh, that we have here enough space. Of course, the key has to go later in there. So we might have to angle this a little bit. Um, so it's not perfectly straight, but for reading pleasure, it should be still good enough. All right, to the last part. We have here a, a spacer, spacer and a screw, but here also we have one of these crush washers. The instructions don't really mention that at all. So I will use it there because this crush washer will nicely dig into this, this rubber piece. Yes, it will right, like maybe eat away from it a little bit, but it has um, the rubber piece has here now right, a little nut in the inside to receive this pin. So if you then screw it together, right, the crush washer uh, will nicely stick into the rubber, which should keep it from uh, moving. For double security, we will put Loctite on this one. You need a size for Allen to tighten it all down. Like so. You can put this already on there. Get your trusty Allen. And just snug it down for now. We're gonna use the magnets. So you're lined up here. Ooh, the magnets are strong, jeez. So the unit would sit like this. Let's quickly give the key a try. So it fits like this, right? And when you turn it on, it actually moves to the side. Let's see if we make this fully straight. Yeah, it still clears. It's a little bit tight, but nothing is touching. And we have this unit set up. Now, if you want, you can unscrew this part and connect uh, power to your bike. Um, I will just first try the battery. Uh, I like having less wires, less things that can come loose. Uh, I like the simplicity of this. So I will first start running it like it is right now and give it a try and potentially hook it up in another video. But yeah, I like the setup. So now all we have to do is snug it down. Yeah, so it has a little bit of free play here, right? It's only fixed here on the rubber. So it has a little bit of vibration. The rubber should dampen it a little bit, so hopefully it doesn't get too shaky. But yeah, we have to set up. You can just magnetically put this one in. And now we have the aim solo 2 on here. From the back, right, you can tighten up the thumb screws. So you have the unit secured. That concludes the installation for today. Let me know if you like this. I will put the link in the description below for the adapter from AIM for this Solo 2. And if you consider it, uh, let me know what you think or if you went up getting another solution to mount this to your bike. I'm pretty happy, it's pretty clean, but if you know a better solution to mount it even cleaner, uh, I know like some people use uh, ball joints from here hanging down uh, or other solutions. I like this is out of the way uh, and should be not interfering with my riding at all. It's nice and visible. So looks good, but we will test it on a track and then we'll know for sure. All right, that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching until the very end. Please subscribe and like to help me out. And until next time, bye bye.